Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, listen, it may have taken ColourPop like literally three weeks to get this to me, but I finally received my garden variety collection from ColourPop in the mail. And y'all, I ordered the full collection. And not only did I order the full collection, I ordered the full collection as well as an extra palette so that I could do a giveaway, of course. Listen, y'all, I know that ColourPop comes out with a new collection every other day. Most of them aren't anything too terribly special. You know, they had that, I think it was called the Wild Nothing Collection that was like all cactus themed. I thought about getting that one. I did like it. The palette was heckin' boring though, so I, I didn't, but then shortly after they came out with this one, and the reason I'm so excited for this particular collection, if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I am a succulent hoarder. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I am a little bit, I have a lot of succulents, and I post a lot of pictures of my succulents over on Instagram. I'll insert some pictures here so that you can see what they look like, but if you want to follow me on Instagram, I don't really post a lot of makeup stuff on Instagram. I feel like I ought to. I'm going to start doing that soon, but I do post a lot of pictures of my plants on my Instagram. My philosophy for my Instagram page is I just want to put pictures on that page that I want to look at, <laughs> you know? So it's a lot of my pets and my plants is what you'll see on my Instagram page, but go follow me over on Instagram if you would like. But today we're checking out this Garden Variety collection. I have an eyeshadow palette, I have lip oils, I have jelly shadows, I have blushes. I got the whole collection, you guys. So I will give some details about the giveaway at the end of this video. It'll also be down in the description box, of course. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Haley. I like makeup and I like plants and I like plant themed makeup collections, especially succulent themed makeup collections. I also like my animals. So, but now let's just get started. Fragile. Check it out. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to put on some tape and do my eyeshadow first like I normally do, but I want to first get out one of these lip oils. I'm not really a big lip oil person, and I'll definitely want to put on like a matte liquid lipstick today just because I'll probably be wearing it all day. So let me, I'm looking for one specific one. So they came in like little uh, sets of two, like the blush and the lip oil. I don't know if like purple blush is for me, but we might be finding out today because I just really like purple. Okay, so this is the ColourPop Lux Lip Oil in Rain Check, but rain like R-E-I-G-N, not like water rain. Okay, it's cute, it's nice. Doesn't really give you that purple tint that it shows, but it looks real friggin' cute in here, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so we will get back to the blush and lip oil later. Now on to the palette. So this is actually quite uh, smaller than I had expected it to be. Super pretty packaging though. I just love the succulents and it feels really good too. It has like a matte feel. So here she is. Oh, so pretty. Now I will say, I do really love the color story of this palette. I think they could have included a blue, like a light blue shade, like something like that, because I do have a lot of succulents that have like kind of a blue or even like, so they've got this green in here, but even a more like blue toned, cooler toned green. This looks like it leans maybe a little gold, but. So I'm still gonna swatch it, although I do have quite a bit of confidence in ColourPop shadows. So this is Deserted, Third Eye, Stay Sharp. The Herbivore, 
This is Best Buds. Ooh, I love that one. Sucka for you. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, pretty. And then these are the three I think I'm gonna be mainly using today. This one's called Synergy. Ooh, so pretty. Smudge Off. Stunning. And Stuck On You. Okay, this one's called Wavelength. Don't Leaf. Play Day. Finally, we have Prickly Please. Prickly Please, doesn't really show up on me. <laughs> Over the Bloom. Over the Bloom. I just went right over. <laughs> Since I went right over it, I'm gonna re-swatch the Prickly Please. And then finally, Root em Up. This one's just like brown, maybe a touch green. Okay, boom, so there it is. That's the palette, very cute. All right, let me get my tape on and we'll get going. So I'm gonna dive right into this kind of plum purpley shade stuck on you. And we're just gonna go right into, get a different brush, right into the crease with this one. Okay, very nicely saturated pigment there. That's with two dips. Kind of looks like I got punched in the eye, but we're gonna, we're not done, of course. So, just so you can see the difference, one dip, two dips, blend it out, so. Cute. Okay. I'm gonna try this over the bloom shade to kind of blend out this purpley shade. I hope this works okay. We'll find out. It worked out quite well, I think. Cute. Okay. <clears throat> I think that's pretty cute, huh? So then I'm gonna take this one right here and put it on the outer corner using my ColourPop Fresh, Pretty Fresh Spray. Fabulous, 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 fabulous. Finally, I'm gonna take this guy right here, Synergy, all over what's left of the lid. Ooh, look how like wonky my tape went on over here. <laughs> Ooh, nice and sharp over here though. Now I'm just taking a little bit more of Smudge Off, this one. Just a little bit to kind of help fuse these two together. Okay, be right back. And I'm back, 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 back again. So I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed in this green shimmer shade right here. I took it on my lower lash line, as you can see, and I had initially had it like all the way out, but it's just kind of pale and it didn't give me that like pop that I really wanted on my lower lash line. So I kind of took this over the bloom shade that I had blended out this shade with and pulled it down and kind of merged the two. So I still don't have quite as much definition on my lower lash line as I would like. Maybe if I had like a little green, liner but i don't have that <laughs> so all in all the palette is lovely i mean it's color pop like you kind of know what you're gonna get they're good pigmented blendable shadows you know it's a good quality eyeshadow palette the color story is cute i really like the colors that i used for this look i wish that it was a little bit different like I said, I think it could benefit from like a blue, maybe even some more pink. 
yeah, because there's really not like a, a baby pink, like a, this kind of color pink, you know? These are a little bit peachy, which isn't a big deal. And like I said, my look turned out pretty, but still just leaves a little to be desired, I guess. Okay, but I do want to try this blush. I, I don't have a lot to do today, so I'm just gonna go for it and try the purple blush. <laughs> Lord have mercy on my soul. I have tried ColourPop's blush before, and I think they have a pretty decent blush formula. I did already put some of my Patrick Ta blush on under my powder, but you can't even really see it. Am I crazy or is that kind of cute? Okay, so definitely like kind of a pinky toned purple blush, which is good so that it doesn't look too redonkulous. My eyes are a little bit like a shooken up right now from the lights, so I honestly am having a hard time deciphering what it looks like. It's very highlighter-like, like it's a it's a pretty pale shade, so it, it's kind of like flushing me out a little, I feel like. Looking at the pan, let me swatch it. No, it's not shimmery. Okay, I hopped off for a moment because I felt like I really needed to do something about my hair. So we got her under control a bit. Now, this little purpley blush is cute. I finally got to live out my purple blush fantasy, but I feel like it's a little pale. It's washing me out a little more than I want to. So luckily this collection came with four blushes. So I'm gonna keep two and give the other two away. So I figured the other one that I could check out would be this little bit of a deeper one. We're just gonna take a little bit, just a little bit. And this one does look like it has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and go over, try to bring some life back to my face, you know. Y'all know I'm no stranger to heavy blush either. <laughs> okay, wonderful. I think that helped a little. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Now, I totally forgot that there are jelly shadows as this part of this collection. Hold on. Now, just like with the blushes and the lip oils, there are four as part of this collection, so I'm gonna keep two and give the other two away. Let me see which two I think I would like to try. Super cute packaging with the succulents all over it. We love it. I'm feeling very cotton candy-like today. This one is called Sage Bundle. Okay, check it out. I'm gonna touch it. Very interesting. Ooh, cool. Let me see about putting some, oh gosh, I got too much. It's like, <laughs> it's like frosting. It's, it's interesting. I need to get some, dab some off. I put too much on my Oh my. The thing I will say, I know that their super shock shadows tend to dry out kind of quickly. So I'm suspecting that might happen with these as well. Cause this is a pretty wet formulation. I think it's cute though. I like the way it looks over top. So pretty, okay, I, I like that, yes. I love it when I like a product that I was almost certain I wouldn't care for. <laughs> I mean, I figured that it would be like glittery and pretty or whatever, and it is glittery and pretty and whatever, but I like the texture of it, that kind of weird like whipped, like icing, like cake icing kind of texture almost, I don't know. I'm gonna try this other one called Desert Days. dark. Ooh. That's pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit and just put it, I don't want to cover up that purple, but I'm just like, how do I not use this right now? You know, really probably not making that much of a difference. Cute. Okay, I like these jelly shadows. Fabulous. Let's talk giveaway. 
So rules for the giveaway are simple as always, and I will put the rules to the giveaway in the description box as well. But just make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, like this video, and leave me a comment. Leave me a comment with a unicorn emoji and um, ice cream. Is there an ice cream emoji? I don't know, but leave me an ice cream emoji downstairs in the comments. And okay, what are we doing? In, what are we having in the giveaway? So of course, the giveaway is going to come with one of these ColourPop Garden Variety palettes. Winner will also get these two blush lip oil duos. So this one is called New Leaf and the other is called Aloe There. Then also as part of this collection are these 4-3 Beauty little mists. So let me get them out. So here are the two little mists that are in here. I have several 4-3 Beauty mists. I have ColourPop setting spray. I have other setting sprays. So I'm going to give these two away. Winner will also be getting these two jelly shadows in, I don't know how to say that one, and she grown. And finally, the winner will also be getting ah, this Soul Body Glow Oil. This collection did also come with some scrunchies. I'll probably throw one of the scrunchies into the giveaway. I'm definitely keeping this purple one though. The thing is though, is that they're on this piece of like, uh, what is the freaking word? Why can't I think of it? I want to say yarn? Ribbon, I guess you would say. It's on this little piece of ribbon that I guess you have to cut to get off. Anyways, so that's the giveaway. So let me know what you liked best from this collection. Also go follow me on Instagram if you're interested in seeing any of my succulent pictures. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and... I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.